Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make banoffee pie. Crispy layer of cookie, dulce de leche caramel, fresh bananas, and freshly whipped cream. I'm Nick, and you're watching The Scram Line, where I teach you how to make delicious desserts designed to impress. This is a dessert made in heaven, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. Let's begin with the cookie crumb base of our pie. Now, for this, you can use either graham crackers. I'm gonna be using Lotus cookies today. Basically, any cookie will work for this recipe, but I find that these have a nice kind of spiced holiday feel that goes really well with the caramel and bananas in this recipe. So we're gonna pop these into the bowl of a food processor. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. The brown sugar helps sweeten the base, but it also helps bring it together once it's baked. We're gonna pop the lid on top and we're gonna pulse this until we reach fine crumbs. We're gonna pour those crumbs into a mixing bowl. And I have melted some butter on my stove top and let it come to room temperature. We're gonna pour this melted butter into our crumbs and we're gonna use a spoon to mix everything together until those crumbs are coated. Pour the wet crumbs into your nine inch tart tin. So I have a removable bottom tart tin. We're gonna use the back of our spoon to spread this around nice and evenly. And then we're gonna use that spoon to firmly press that crumb mixture into the sides and the bottom of this tart tin. You wanna get it nice and firm or as compact as you can, because the more compact, the more this thing is gonna to stay together once it's finished baking. Right, so now that we have it nice and firm in there, we're actually gonna be baking this for 10 minutes in the oven. Once it's finished baking and it's golden brown, you want to let this cool down completely before you add any fillings in here. Because if you add any fillings in while the crust is warm or any warm fillings into the crust, you risk the crust kind of soaking in those fillings and becoming soggy. So let this cool down completely and make sure that any fillings are cooled down completely. Speaking of fillings, let me show you how to make the dulce de leche. I've just taken that pie crust out of the oven and my house smells amazing. So the filling for this pie is a dulce de leche. Now I'm gonna get in trouble for describing it as a caramel, but it has a caramel flavor. It's essentially a baked sweetened condensed milk. There are two different ways to make this. You can pop the actual can in a pot of boiling water, but I find the way that we're gonna be doing today a lot easier and quicker. So I've got a pie glass dish. You can pretty much use any dish. It doesn't have to be glass, but you're going to need an even bigger dish to pop the smaller dish into. So we're gonna add our sweetened condensed milk into our smaller dish. We're gonna be covering this with aluminum foil and this is gonna help stop the actual sweetened condensed milk from drying out or even burning in the oven. Let's pop this aside because I wanna show you how to prepare your larger dish. You wanna pop a towel at the bottom of your larger dish and then pop the smaller dish on top of that. We're gonna pop this in the oven and once it's in the oven, you want to fill it halfway up with boiling water and we're gonna bake this for 90 minutes covered. Don't open the oven, don't unwrap it and check to see how it's going. Let it sit in there for 90 minutes and then let it cool down completely with the foil liner on top so that it doesn't dry out as it's cooling. And then I'm gonna show you what this looks like when it's done. Quickly popping in to make sure that you guys are actually enjoying this video. I hope that you are. If you are, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get notified as soon as I upload my new recipes. Back to the video. My dulce de leche has completely cooled down and you can see it's kind of come out to this really thick, beautifully golden color. 
mixture. That is our filling. I am so excited to show you the next step because we're almost ready to put this together. The last thing we want to do is the whipped cream. Super duper simple. We're going to add some cold, chilled, heavy cream to a large mixing bowl, a good splash of vanilla extract, and today I'm going to be using my hand mixer to whip this up to stiff peaks. You want to start on low speed to begin with because this will fly out of your bowl if you go on high speed. As you can see it thickening, you want to turn it up to medium and then high speed until you reach stiff peaks. Putting this pie together is really, really easy. We've got our cooled down pie crust. It's completely cooled. I actually popped it in the fridge to cool down a little bit. And because I popped it in the fridge, it's kind of hardened a little bit more, which is good because we're going to be putting some really sticky cooled down dulce de leche in there. And because this pie crust is cooled, it is going to be easier to spread this around without cracking the pie crust. You want to spread that around nice and evenly. And the next layer you want to add is the sliced bananas. So I've just sliced two bananas and we are going to pop these on top of that dulce de leche layer. I have my freshly whipped cream here. Pile that on top of that banana layer. And once we have it on there, we just want to spread it out a little bit. Some people like to not spread it right out to the edge because you want to show the bananas and the caramel in there. I'm going to spread it out to the edge because we're going to see those when we cut into it anyway. So once we finish doing that, we're going to pop it in the fridge and let it chill completely for about 30 minutes. I'm going to slice it up. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Garnishing this pie is really simple. You don't have to garnish it, but I'm actually going to add some chocolate shavings on top. If you don't want to make chocolate shavings like I did, and by the way, I made them by just using a spoon and scraping it across a block of chocolate. It's that simple. You could just dust this with some cocoa powder and be done with it. But this thing is delicious regardless. I do feel a little bit fancy, so I am gonna sprinkle those chocolate shavings on top. So we want to take it out of the tart shell. And this is what's great about these things. It literally just lifts out. I'm gonna pop this on my serving plate. If you wanna keep your slices nice and clean, you want to clean your knife very carefully each time you slice, so that that way you get that nice separation of dulce de leche, banana and cream. How amazing does that look? And it really only took a couple ingredients. Time for the taste test. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is heaven on earth. There's the crispy, crispy base, the nice dulce de leche caramel, bananas, whipped cream. It's so delicious. All the softness of the different fillings and then that crispy base, it just tastes so delicious. I don't know why anyone wouldn't make this. I think you guys should make it. The description box below is where you're gonna find the recipe make this try it let me know what you thought in the comments and if you have any suggestions for any other videos you'd like to see me make please let me know in the comments down below because i'd love to hear your suggestions if you haven't subscribed already hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so that youtube notifies you as soon as there's a new video if you want to see more delicious recipe from me there's a video somewhere on screen right now. Click on that and it'll take you to another recipe. There's also a subscribe button as well, guys. It's free to subscribe. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrand Line. Bye. I'm going to take this with me.